Welcome to Great Chefs of the World, a culinary survey featuring premier chefs from around the globe. Vienna is the setting for today's appetizer prepared by Harold Fargel at Fiegelmuller. It's a restaurant that's casual and certainly Austrian, although the first course sounds like it was invented by the Donna Party, ox snout salad. For the entree, it's off to Rio and Claude Tragois. He prepares an interesting beef dish that's a Brazilian turn on meat and potatoes, only it's crumb and cheese covered filet and yuca. The dessert is assembled by Gail O'Malley at the Hilton Hawaiian Village in Honolulu. It's called the Unforgettable Tort. Claude Tragois' infectious personality and love of cooking goes to his childhood. How many chefs can say they came from a world-famous cooking family and at age seven signed a contract with Paul Bocuse, stipulating his first job would be with the master? His entree is beef filet and yucca. I'm going to cook the meats. Beef, I season it on the two sides with salt and pepper and I'm going to cook it in butter. Okay. We put the meat on the butter. And cook it slowly on the two sides, the way you want, if rare, medium rare, a little bit more time, well done. That takes for rare like uh, five minutes in the two sides, medium rare ten, say well done, two hours. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we have the sauce, we have the meat, now I'm going to do the Brazilian or the sauce American Test with the yucca. You can find yucca in the United States. So we cook the yucca in, we peel it and cook it in salted water. The same amount of uh, yucca, you do it with potato, same way where you cook it in salted water, peel it and cook it. Make a puree of the two. And uh, I'm going to mix the two. The steaks are turned. It's, the yucca is very, very starchy. And that's the potato puree. I mix the two. You can put your hands. It's easier. A little bit salt, pepper, and hot pepper, or paprika if you want. The chef has added cayenne pepper. And you mix the two puree. The starch of your yucca is very, very important. And I'm going to, when it's mixed, it's like, a, you see, a pastry dough. I'm going to roll that little bit flour. To make the yucca biscuits. Okay, and I keep that, this roll in a plastic wrap in the fridge 
You can freeze it also if you want. For uh, 24 hours. If you freeze it, you can keep that a long time and cut it freeze and fried. After that, when it, after 24 hours, you take that and just cut your slice of yucca. You get like that. If it's frozen, the same thing, you cut it frozen. Okay? The bread comp that uh, the bread I'm going to put on the top on the top of the of the beef. So that's a mix of bread crumb. You mix everything anyway. Bread crumb. Uh, Swiss cheese. Garlic, chopped garlic, chop thyme, a little bit salt, a little bit crushed peppercorn, and butter, uh, hot butter, okay? And you mix, you mix that. To make like uh, a dough too, is going to put on the top of the beef. Okay, like, uh, it look like a cramb. You can keep that also a few days. Okay, the beef is quite ready. I take out of the pan and keep it. And I'm going to finish the sauce. Very French way of cooking. Add a lot of butter. That's the way to do the Bordelais sauce. On the reduction, you see the reduction is still there, the reduction of red wine and veal stock. I'm going to add butter, like two big spoons of butter. Secha, we call that monte au beurre, and whisk it until the butter is incorporated in, in, the, in the red wine sauce. The yucca is sprinkled with flour on the two sides, and fried it in a, in a frying pan, eh? hot oil. About uh, like two or three minutes on each side. During this time, I'm going to put the crust on the top of the beef, the bread crust, and that is going to go in the oven. Or if you have a, a salamander, you can put on the salamander to get uh, brown and crispy. At home, put the crusted meat in the broiler. You see the yucca getting brown? That have to be brown. It's crispy outside and very soft and sticky inside. By the way, if you, you, if you put just yucca inside, it don't mix with potato, you get like a, a shrimp gum, you know what I mean? That's why I mix it with, uh, with potato. Turn it. to use it later for that au panneau blanc là for when the when the beef is ready
Okay. The meat is removed from the broiler. Okay, now we just take out the, the beef from the, the oven or the broiler, if you have a broiler. We put the, you, the, just the fried yuca in the middle of the plate, nicely. Four or five, depends what you want. Put the Bordelais sauce in the middle. And uh, the sauce is very, very strong in red wine. Just put the beef on the top. A nice piece of yuca, it's a slice of yuca fried in oil, and a little bit herbs seasoned with a little bit olive oil. It's a mix of basil, uh, chives, cilantro, anyway, any kind of herb, of herbs, fresh herbs you can you can find. Not the beef with yucca. Thank you.